Okay, we'll have a look at um, the paragraph dealing with suspended weights now. The most important thing to remember about um, when a vessel or crane or derrick picks a weight up is that the centre of gravity of that weight acts at the top of the derrick. The moment it picks the weight up that effectively is the centre of gravity of the weight, the top of the derrick or the crane. So the question will tell you, for example, that the derrick or crane head is 32 metres above the keel. So the moment the weight is picked up, then its kg becomes 32 metres above the keel. Whether it's picked up from within the vessel or picked up from ashore, it becomes whatever the distance is from the keel to the derrick head. So it's very important to remember that. It doesn't matter whether the weight has been picked up and it's just a foot off the ground or it's 10 feet off the ground. It doesn't matter what distance it is off the ground, it acts at the top of the derrick or the crane. So that's the most important thing to remember with suspended weights. And the kg, the centre of gravity, kg of the weight, remains at the derrick head until the crane or the derrick releases the weight. So that as long as it's holding that weight, that's where the center of gravity is at the top of the crane. So let's have a look at an example. Um, and just before we do, it, you can think to yourself there, if you were picking a heavy lift up from a shore, you swing the crane out of the derrick, lift the weight. You can imagine what effect that may well have on the list of the vessel. So it's very important to understand and to be able to calculate the weight and the moments created by that weight when you, particularly when you pick a heavy lift up, because you may well have to adjust the ballast on the vessel to avoid any problems. So let's have a look at this example. We've got our displacement 12,000 tonnes, we're port side two, we've got a km and a kg, with two heavy lifts. The first one is to be um, loaded at a kg 14.5, 12 metres to port of the centre line. So we're port side two and it's being loaded to port of the centre line. The second weight's 90 tonnes and it tells us that the derrick head is 24 metres above the keel and, the, and the, at the moment of lifting it's swung outboard 17 metres to port of the centre line. So we need to calculate the list at the point of lifting the second weight. Now from our um, tables we know that list tan theta equals ggh over gm. We know that ggh represents the horizontal shift either to port or starboard. Uh, obviously in this instance it's going to be to port. And we know that gm is the metacentric height. And the way we get the gm we know that that is km minus kg. So what we do, we calculate the kg, subtract it from the km, and that gives us the gm. So we have two values to calculate to solve this problem. So here's our table, and we've got our weight, 12,000 tonnes, our displacement, and we know our initial kg is 9.6, so that's our initial vertical moment. We've got the 70 tonnes weight, and we've put it at 14.5 metres kg, so that's the moments there. And then we've picked up the weight of 90 tonnes, and of course the kg of that weight when we picked it up is 24.0 because the derrick head is 24 metres above the keel. So let's just look at the vertical moments first. So we have our total vertical moments obviously all added. To get our kg we divide the total moments by the total weight and that gives us a, a kg of 9.73, you could call that 9.735 or 9.74. Okay. Um, in the question it tells us that the km is 10.5. It hasn't asked us to use hydrostatic tables, so we assume that the km is constant. Had it asked us to use hydrostatic tables, we would have looked up the km at the new displacement. So we're assuming that our km is constant. Our gm is km minus kg, and we've got our gm there. Okay, so that's the, when we look at our formula, we've got our GM. We've simply calculated the kg of the vessel using the vertical moments, 
and then with the kg we've applied it to the km and that gives us our gm. So what we have to do now is look at our transverse moments to port or to starboard. The vessel isn't uh, listed initially so there are no initial listing moments to worry about. We've loaded 70 tonnes 12 metres to port so 70 times 12 is 840 so we've got 840 to port and we've picked up 90 tonnes and we're told that we've swung our derrick 17 metres outboard so therefore the moments created are 90 times 17 1530 both these moments are to port so we've got our total moments of 2370 okay so to calculate our GGH we know it's total moments transverse over total weight so it's 2370 divided by our weight uh, displacement to the vessel and that gives us our GGH they're calling it GG1 in this example but that's the same thing GGH tan theta is GGH by GM and therefore from this uh, information because we've got both those values we know that our list as soon as we pick up that weight is 14.3 degrees to port so you can see just from this example we've only picked up 90 tons on the second instance and we're listed at 14.3 degrees to port at the moment of picking the weight up. So you, with, the, with a list problem, you have two separate values to calculate. You have your GGH to calculate and your GM. GGH is simply the moments divided by, that's the transverse moments to port or starboard, divided by the displacement. GM is KM minus KG. Uh, of course we calculate the kg using the vertical moments subtract, subtract that from the km and that gives us the gm so that's how we would solve a problem whenever it talks about suspended weights the key thing to remember with a suspended weight the moment it's picked up the kg or center of gravity of the weight is at the top of the derrick or crane head and you will be told the distance like this example here we're told that the derrick head is 24 metres above the keel. So as soon as it tells us there that it's 24 metres above the keel, that is the kg, or centre of gravity of that weight, at the moment of lifting.